So the key message was, first of all, to try to enroll people in the field of what we called premium lenses. Actually, this word is coming from the marketing when we should think about progress in optics. So in that regard, I try to demonstrate that we are nowadays able to get people free of the glasses thanks to the trifocal who took the first place with more than 90% of uh, spectacular independency with not so much disturbance in uh, quality of vision. EDF is a new area to extend indication and definitely toric lenses need to find a place for astigmatism correction. So hopefully all the all the members of this session, all the members of our community will move in that direction, will consider the need of using these advanced optics for a better care of our patients. I see that, you know, we are just at the beginning of this great adventure in, med in optics in general, so understanding on a better way aberration, chromatic aberration, if we can maybe have an access to this level of refined quality of vision approach, understanding also in a better way accommodation will help us maybe to finally one day be able to, uh, to put on the market something that will work, a true accommodative lenses to restore the lost accommodation. And regarding refractive surgery as a coronal approach, I think that SMILE will certainly find a new place, maybe as a competition or complementary approach for corneal surgery compared to LASIK. Yeah, I must say that I'm actively working in this area because my research unit is purely dedicated to this field of research since one decade. So I can tell you that it's not for tomorrow, it's already for today. We are in a position nowadays to be able to use artificial intelligence to support our field in diagnosis and uh, as a support even for prevention and detection of disease. It's going to work in all of our field of imaging because you know that our specialty is based on imaging and thanks to that for glaucoma, for retinal disease, even for ocular surface and anterior imaging with multimodal approach is going to be a support for helping us in the first line for a diagnosis and also to guide our strategy for the management of the patient. So a support for a better care until and unless uh, the, it moves faster maybe with the support of the big uh, Google and Amazon uh, story. So we need to keep that in our hands if we want to keep artificial intelligence to be a support for us. I think that, you know, it's a, really it's a chance to be at that time an ophthalmologist because we have really, we are so lucky to have so great development in many areas, imaging, surgery, robotization, artificial intelligence. It's going to become a new job. So we need the young generation to understand that they are lucky. We need the energy to move forward and to follow us. Because I mean, to be dedicated to uh, such a great position, you need to handle everything. So for tomorrow, a, an ophthalmologist will be a manager, will be a developer, will be a scientist, and finally needs also to remain a doctor. Good luck to them, but they are lucky. <laughs>